Hey, it's Joel from Alter Media, and this is part two of our series of videos leading up to the release of Studio Suite XI on September 9th. Another one of the things we've been talking with people about is calendars. In the world of production and post, there's a big demand for powerful, flexible calendars that can quickly and easily show resource usage, availability, tasks, employee schedules, daily notes, as well as production and project calendars. The Holy Grail is a calendar that can do all that simply and effectively, and is accessible via desktop, browser, and all your mobile devices. And for good measure, how about a two-way sync with Google Calendar and iCal? I'm excited to show you what we came up with. So I've been in a lot of studios over the years, and I've seen one too many of these. It just doesn't work anymore, especially when you've got devices like this and this. Um, so I want to point out that I've got this mirrored on my computer screen, so everything I do in one place is showing up in both places. So, let's get started. From the main menu, we just click on the calendar, uh, and that opens the calendar module in its own separate window, uh, which we can then drag out uh, to perhaps another monitor if you uh, have two monitors, or in this case, I'm just going to drag it out nice and big on this. So, a couple things. Uh, we've got resources down the left side. Which resources we're looking at can be governed by presets. So you can set up a number of different presets, you know, audio department, video department, just show me my people, just show me my rooms, that kind of thing. Uh, and we've got a time across the top, and we can zoom into a particular uh, day like this, and of course we can drag things around, so if I want to change the time of that, I can certainly do it. And you probably saw, uh, as I hover over there, I see a little tooltip um, showing me the details of that. So this day view, a week view, and also notice that it's quite fast as I jump around. No matter where I go, I can always get back to today by clicking on the date range right in the middle. Uh, and there's also a month view. Uh, we can drag things around from here. Let's look at the traditional views for a minute. Um, so there's obviously a day view. Uh, here's a week view. Looks you know kind of like your uh, uh, iCal or Outlook or Google Calendar. Uh, same with the month view. Looks kind of like that. And there's a year view, and this is going to show us what days of the year we've got stuff scheduled on. And as I hover over these, it'll show me what things are scheduled on what days. So those are the different views. Uh, the timeline week is really my favorite view, and I'm going to jump back to today just by going like that. So a couple notes we saw here that as I hover over those, I see uh, further details about it. Uh, let's look at this item here, the red camera. I need to have an operator for that. So I'm going to double click on this item right here and I'm going to select the operator as Joel Stoner. Uh, I'm going to save that change. The calendar is going to redraw, and we're going to see right below the red uh, camera that, the, that Joel has been specified as the operator. Notice the corners. Uh, the camera is the resource. The square corners are indicating that Joel is the operator. Now, suppose I actually am Joel, and I am. Uh, I can click on my name over here, and this has essentially soloed up the calendar to only show me the stuff that I care about. I see the square corners. I know I'm an operator. I see the round corners. I know that that's uh, me as a resource. I'm also, by the way, seeing this red outline here, uh, and I'm going to show all. Uh, and then I'm going to resolve that. The red outline is meaning that I've got a conflict, and I can just reschedule myself over here. And uh, I hit no on that. And we're going to see the calendar redraw uh, to remove the conflict from uh, our uh, list of challenges that we need to deal with today. So the next thing I want to show you is the view options, and that's over here. Um, right now, we're just looking at resources. Maybe I'd like to be able to view daily notes from the calendar. So now I can see across the top any kind of daily note that I want to put in here, and I can add uh, something in here like OK. Uh, and certainly those changes are going to get reflected back on everybody's calendars. Uh, the next thing we need to look at is tasks. Previously we had tasks in the calendar, but they were stuck there. You couldn't get them off. So now we can turn them on and off, and I can see how all of my people are scheduled, the various different tasks. Uh, the colors are representing status, uh, and then we see on top of there what it is. Uh, one additional note is that this particular task is assigned to multiple people. And as I hover over that, I can see what the task itself is, the details, and I'm noticing that several people uh, are having that task assigned to them. The next one is the thing that I'm really excited about, and that is projects. So I'm going to click on the projects checkbox over there, and if I scroll down, I'm going to see there's my tasks, here's my resources, and I've got the different shaped items there. And if I keep scrolling down to the bottom here, these green items are projects that are going on. Um, so we have some different shaped objects here as well. Uh, 
Of course, the round cornered items are the resources, but let's go to this project here. Studio Suite is everywhere. Um, here I can see that I've got a kind of green banner across the top, and then over here I've got some rounded items. So what this is telling me is that this project is lasting from Monday to Friday, even though I've only got uh, two days scheduled, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. So that's nice that we can now see uh, kind of the differentiation between when projects are scheduled and when resources are scheduled. The next thing I want to show you is employee schedules. If I zoom back up to the top, I'm going to turn on employee schedules. And we'll now see these black outlined objects where the employees are scheduled. Uh, and again, this is optional. You can turn it on and off. So it's good to see here that, for example, Eddie Editor, he's supposed to be reviewing the script uh, for the 30 and the 60 on Thursday. Uh, however, he's not there that day. So we can see right away that that's a problem. Bobby Jones, however, is there on that day. So that's the, uh, the Studio Suite desktop calendar. Of course, we want to show you a couple other things. I'm going to hide FileMaker, and then I'm going to go quickly into Safari. Uh, and here it is in Safari, running uh, in FileMaker Web Direct. Uh, and I'm seeing all the same things that I just saw. And in fact, I can even move things around here as well. So if I want to move the clean the bathroom task over to Tuesday, uh, I can certainly do that for Alan. So there it is in the web direct. Uh, the next thing I want to point out is that this is the web glancer. So I'm going to click on calendar here. And remember, web glancer is our free read-only calendar. Um, so notice how nice and fast this is. I'm just going to zoom around and come in. And I can filter the same thing. So if I need to see my tasks, I can turn those on. And now I'm looking at all of my tasks for free without occupying a Studio Suite seat in the calendar. The only thing I can't do here is drag stuff around and reschedule because that's just not allowed. Um, now, we've talked before about how everything that uh, is in the Studio Suite calendar also shows up in the Google calendar. We've seen that before. And again, uh, we've got resources on the left and projects separated by project status, uh, which is a nice feature. So you can see which projects are approved or in progress or in queue. Uh, and then we've also talked about um, how the calendars are syncing uh, to iCal, uh, which is really nice. And remember, it's two-way sync with iCal and Google Calendar, which means that you change it in one place uh, and that shows up in the other place. And that also means it shows up on your mobile devices because you can subscribe to a Google or iCal Calendar on your mobile devices. Uh, however, we also have uh, Studio Suite syncing there as well. So here is my iPhone and I can scroll around. And this is the Web Glancer mobile. Uh, and of course, if I want to touch on any one of these, I can go in and see the details of that particular event. This is directly off the Studio Suite server. Uh, and then over here on my iPad, where I can look at all of my tasks and all of my resources and all of my project data. So there you have it, the Grand Central Station of Studio Calendars. I think this is really going to help you solve your calendaring challenges. Please let us know what you think in the comment section below. And do me one favor, tweet it with all your friends. Like it, pin it, blog it, whatever you do. Stay tuned for another video in a couple days uh, leading up to the much anticipated release of Studio Suite XI on September 9th. Thanks for watching.